Oh, welcome, guys. Now that we, we believe that alpha plus beta is equals to minus b over a, and alpha beta is c over a, we also believe that alpha minus beta is square root of b squared minus 4ac over a. So these three things are very, very important every time you come across them. And then I will tell you how you are going to make use of it. In the case whereby, suppose we have a question which says you have 2x squared, <coughs> let's say plus 5x, then minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this is the quadratic equation. If I go ahead and solve this, we have 2x squared. Now, you are going to take the product of this coefficient of quadratic term and the constant. That is 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. What are the product of minus 6? Such that if you add them together, you have plus 5. And that should be plus 6x minus 1x. Right? So if I go ahead and solve this, something is common between these two, and that is 2x. So if 2x is common, I will be left with x plus 3. Here in this case, minus 1 is common. So x minus cancel minus last plus. x over 1 is x. Minus cancel minus last plus plus. Minus by minus is plus. Then 3 divided by 1 is 3 equals to 0. So whatever I have left now is just 2x minus 1. You take the one you have outside and you pick one of these. x plus 3 is equals to 0. So trivially, 2x minus 1 is equals to 0 or x plus 3 is equals to 0. So when you solve for x in this case, you have, you usually have 1 over 2. And in the second part, I usually have x equals to what? Minus 3. Now I have two answers. This is the first answer. This is the second answer. Remember that I said these two answers are the root for this quadratic equation. Whereby we remember that I said this represents alpha. That means alpha is 1 over 2. And this second solution represents beta. Where alpha and beta are the root of this what of this quadratic equation given. So that means the first truth of the first solution is the first truth, which is 1 over 2, and the second solution is the second root so this is alpha this is beta now if i now ask you to, if i give you a question like this and I ask you to find the sum of this quadratic equation the sum of the root of this quadratic equation do you need to go through all this stress and then finally add the results that is by adding this and this no you don't need to do that because normally if you try x1 plus x2 which implies that you have alpha plus beta and that means you have one over two plus minus three so when you solve this out if you find the lcm you usually have minus 5 over 2. This will be the final answer. Since you have minus 5 over 2 in this case, now go back to, okay, this is what I want to achieve. That is, I want to find the sum of the root of this quadratic equation, and the result is minus 5 over 2. So, do I need to go through all these steps before I generate that answer? No. There is a formula for it which says that alpha plus beta simply implies you should have minus b over a. So, whereby, the coefficient you actually have here, the coefficient of the quadratic term here is a, where this one is what, where this is b, and this last one is what, and this last one is c. So my b is 5, and my a is 2. So you see this is faster in that case. So you can also do the same to what if I ask you to find the product of the quadratic equation of that, the, the um, product of the root of this quadratic equation, that's c over a. That is, what's my c? c is minus 3 and a is what? a is 2. So is that true? If I multiply this and this together, if I multiply this root of the equation together, where this is alpha, where this is beta, if I multiply it, I'll still have minus 3 over 2, which is still correct. So you can also do the same thing for what? For um, alpha minus beta, which implies square root of the discriminant over a, where discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. So is that clear enough now? So there is nothing really special about all this. So I've given I've given you the best explanation to this. So just take note whenever you are given a quadratic equation, the very first thing you have to take note is to find the sum and the product of that quadratic equation. So whatever I want to explain now is how do you how do you see the uh, like the uh, how do you see the format of this question? In this case, let me try to rub this off. I want you to take note of something. Anytime you come across questions on sum and product of the quadratic equation, it used to come in two different forms. Yes, it is coming to different forms. Like, let's say type A. Let me pick type A. Let's say we have type 